Hey folks, we're looking at the 2023 edition of the National Electrical Code. A lot of people are confused by how to do the optional method for an all-electric restaurant. Typically on an exam, they will give you the actual connected load. That is the value that comes from the engineer or on the exam question. And then of course, the resulting value after you apply some of these percentages is the calculated load, and that's after you've applied any of these allowances here. So. Uh, for example, a lot of people get confused. They think this is stackable, and it is not. So let's say they give you an exam question, and it's 240 kVA. Okay, so it falls between 201 to 325. So you take the amount that's over 200, in this case 40, because it was 240 kVA, that's the total connected load. You take 10% of that amount. So you'd use the 40 times 10%, and that is 4 so that'd be 4 kVA plus 160. So it would be 164 kVA is the calculated load, and that's the answer to the exam question. Again, a lot of confusion when it comes to this. Uh, so again, also remember there is a note here that says add all electrical loads, including both heating and cooling loads, to calculate the total connected load. So in that restaurant, your engineer or the exam question is going to have done that already for you and they're going to give you a connected load and then you're going to have to use this table to formulate the calculated load but again you don't stack these so again if it was a 600 kva question then it falls between 326 and 800 you take the amount over 325 so you take the 650 let's say it's what it is you take away 325 from it, the amount that you have the remainder, you multiply that by 50%, and whatever that value is, you add 172.5 to that, and that is your calculated load. Pretty simple table if you think about it. It's typically on a lot of exams, but make sure you understand, again, how to use this table if you're allowed to use the optional method on your exam. Hopefully you got something out of this 2023 NEC.